Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in eFootball 2023 which was previously released as eFootball 2022 but because it's 2023 now, you know, put, uh, do the maths. Uh, so this was developed and published by Konami Digital Entertainment and is completely free to download and play. No fuss, no muss, no bus, no uh, fuss again, it's all free. And how much are you charging for this free game? Uh, it's free. So anyway, not much to say. It is a football or soccer game. Uh, it is what the old Pro Evolution games were, but it is a neat completion, assuming you have the use of two controllers. Now, as for achievements, there are things like uh, win, keep a clean sheet, score a free kick from 25 yards out, score a lob goal, win in stoppage time, etc., etc. Now, there, you know, there, they are all things easy to do, but some may take a few times and attempts, but again, it is generally stress-free. So all in all, you're looking at around one to two hours to complete this, uh, and I know the video's only 17 minutes, but of course, there's a lot of editing down. So with that being said then, let's do it. Now, when you do start, you're gonna have a lot of just crap to go through, um, so you'll be pressing the A button quite a lot here. But when you finally get to this main part here, what you're gonna do is click on Authentic, Authentic team match. Go over to the right hand side and you'll find a trial match with the with the just epic Bruno Fernandez. I love that guy. Uh, so trial match, uh, so you can enjoy casual ma casual matches with this offline trial game mode. Again, hopefully you've got a second controller because what you're gonna do is turn on your second controller and then you're gonna sign in. So press the A button, sign in with an alternate account, and then you can put the second controller over to the right, so this is going to make it snicey and easy. Um, now, what we're going to do for the majority, we're going to pick a, you know, a literally four and a half to five star team. I'm a Manchester United fan, so that's what's happening. Um, and then, you know, if you want to make it a lot easier for yourself, uh, just go into anyone and just pick a two star team. Um, I actually picked Angers. Angers. Uh, first of all, and then I changed my mind and went with Manchester City because I'm a United fan and I hate Manchester City. No offence to any City fans, of course. I <laughs> uh, can't wait till Erling Haaland leaves you and Man City are going to suck balls again. But anyway, what we're going to do, press X when we're on this screen, turn injuries off. Uh, because of course this, this just makes it a little bit easier again. Um, so that'll be the X button there for settings, and then we could just mash the A button a couple of times here in order to get through the um, Yeah, just to get through all of the cutscenes, and then we can start the game So the first thing we are going to do when we do start the game is Garnacho or oh, Tom Heaton there looking fantastic uh, So yep skippity skip so it does take a few minutes to you know, quite a few minutes to get into. But the first thing we are going to do when we start, we're going to press the start button. We are going to go in, uh, press Y to go into game plan. And then you're going to swap a defender. So I'm going to take big slab head Harry Maguire off and change him with Raphael Varane, who is a centre back. So if you're not familiar with terms, uh, get, get one of your CBs centre backs off and swap him for another CB centre back. So we're going to be scoring with that particular centre-back. It has to be the one that you've just substituted. Um, and I will get a couple of achievements for that. But first of all, what we're going to do with controller 2, you're going to go into your box and you're going to press the B button in order to slide tackle. That should give your opponents, whoever they are, a penalty and apparently a red card for Casemiro as well. Sorry, Cassie. They just don't like Brazilians in the English league because the English refs suck and so does VAR. Am I right? I am right. Anyway, so once the uh, opponent has a penalty, do not move at all. Just uh, slowly press press the X button just a little bit. You, as the goalkeeper, will stay in the middle and you will immediately just catch that and save the day. That will get us the Goalmouth Guardian achievement. So again, you just have to press the X button a little bit. So it is the X button to shoot. Um, but if you just tap it, obviously you um, just give them a soft sort of touch. If you hold the X button until it's all the way, until the bar's all the way full, you're going to smash it down. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to score with, for me, it was the centre back Varane. So what I ended up doing here is, again, just make sure it is with Raphael Varane. You score the goal, job done. Now what you also seen 
was I get the counter attacking achievement as well. So we get the first goal, Super Sub and Phantom Strikers achievement. With the counter attack, what you actually have to do is just take it off one of your opponents, uh, one of your opponents, one of the one of your opponent players, and then just score. As long as the opponent doesn't get the ball back. So as you can see, um, because because I took it off the uh, one of the Manchester City players, I did pass it around, gave it back to Varane, and that is what uh, counted as a counter attack goal. So you can take it off your opponent, but as, and as long as they don't get it back. That will get you the counter-attacking achievement as well. So, still in the same match, what we're going to do now is get three assists with the same player in a single match and score three goals. So, what I ended up doing was, as Marcus Rashford, or, or you know, any player, whoever you decided to go with, I passed it to Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes has scored. So, that means, again, if you're not familiar with football or soccer, Rashford assisted Bruno, Bruno scored, and that's what we're going to do for the next couple of achievements. So again, make sure again that it is your same player that's already assisted one. So uh, again, for me, it's Marcus Rashford. Pass it to Bruno Fernandes. Make sure, or if you can, get Fernandes to score. There we go. So that will get you the brace for victory achievement for scoring two goals with the same player. And if, uh, to be honest, I wish Manchester United scored this bloody easily. It'd be fantastic. It would be less stressful um and i hate that i i hate that um i let sports <laughs> any sports team um affect my mood because the way united are playing at the minute it's affecting my mood quite a lot so to get the third one here again rashford to fernandez score and this is going to get us the best supporting actor and hat-trick achievements for scoring three goals and uh, getting three assists with the same players in a single match. So that'll do beautiful. Look at that. Look at that play. God, tell you what. And then, uh, for now, what we can do then, um, because it's coming up to the end of the match, when you do end the match, uh, you will get the first win, and providing you haven't accidentally scored a goal, uh, scored an own goal, or your opponents haven't scored, you'll get the clean sheet king as well. So, quite a few achievements just chilling there. Oh, you know what? It's actually nice to see Man City players um, disgusted and terrible of their performance because that's all they do is friggin' win! And I don't like it. Mm -mm. No, I don't. So, now we are going to... There he is. My man! I mean, he does, you know, fall and complain a lot, but, you know, it's, 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 it's what footballers do, huh? So, you can either do a rematch, or what I've done is actually just end the match. Um, I just wanted to beat Manchester City incredibly badly, because, yeah, just because of the little rivalry. So, what I'm going to do is actually just get a two-star team down now. Um, I always end up just picking the same one in the J-League, which is the Japanese Football League. Um, so, a, a, well, which, literally whichever one. As long as it's, you know, two or three stars, it just makes it a little bit easier for you. But what we're going to do now is get the Trickster achievement now there was loads of people saying hold you know hold the x button then tap the a button to cancel i just found that awfully difficult so what i actually ended up doing here as we smash through this is clicking in the right stick twice that will do a little rainbow flick then press the x button to shoot and hopefully you'll be able to score and that is what just made it 10 times easier for me instead of yeah, press A, then tap X, then A, then X, then... Nah, we'll just, uh, we'll go for something nice and simple. Absolutely ideal. By the way, Peter, Peter Drury and Clive Tilsley are the goats of commentators. So, just to let you know there. Um, yeah. Eventually, we're going to get into it. Here we go, so... What we're going to do then, again, any player, doesn't matter, but if you just click in the right stick quickly twice, you'll see him You'll see him do a little flick, and then press the X button as soon as you do that, and boom! That is what will get you the trickster achievement straight away. And again, I just found that a lot easier than uh, mashing a bunch of buttons, it was just easier to do that. So hopefully you can get that one quite quickly. Um, now, what we're going to do is, so there's two achievements. Um, in, in terms of coming back from behind to win. Uh, so what we'll do now is let your opponent score as obviously player two. We're going to get them to score three goals. It's got to be three goals. Um, 
because we have to win after coming back from three goals down, which will get us the Comeback King achievement. What we're also going to get is the final twist achievement for pulling, uh, pulling off a win by scoring in stoppage time. Now, I don't actually show you this in the video because my recording actually went... Uh, so, yeah, which was quite frustrating, really. So, there we go. We'll get them to do 3-0. Now, what we will do then is obviously score three goals back. If you can, um, we can try and get a um, chip shot or a lob shot just by pressing the LB and X button at the same time. Um, if you can't get that, don't worry. You can literally just focus on the one uh, achievement, uh, these two achievements for now. So, we'll get them both back. Now, what you want to do is, once you have it back at 3 all, again, I don't show you in this video, but once you get it back at 3-3, do not score again. All you're going to be doing then is, um, you're going to be putting the ball out to play for goal kicks, uh, fouls, again, by pressing the B button, um, throw-ins, goal kicks, corner kicks, anything like that, in order to get... Um, stoppage time. So when you get to about 85, 86, 87 minutes, what you're going to do as the opponent is pass it back to your goalkeeper. So just again, just ignore the timer for now. Once you get to the end, you should still be on 3 all. Once you get to about 87, 88 minutes, pass it back to the controller 2's goalkeeper. And then as soon as it's over 90 minutes, like it is here, turn back towards your goal, press the right trigger a couple of times, and that will actually score an own goal. Um, because if you just try walking it in, the computer doesn't allow it. So um, walk back towards your own goal as the goalkeeper. Press the right trigger a couple of times. That'll score an own goal. Um, and that will actually uh, get you the two achievements here. Uh, you, will have, you will have scored in stoppage time. Got the 4-3 win. Again, if you didn't manage to get it this one, just make sure if you play another match, make sure that you are drawing... You know, nil-nil, one-all, whatever. And then just make sure then after 90 minutes, you will uh, score an own goal and get it that way. Right. Anyway, what we're going to get next is the chipping in achievement for just uh, scoring with a chip shot. Now, you can try and do it the legit way and try and take it over the keeper. But he is apparently so good. So what we're going to do, as the controller 2, pass it back. We're going to go out of the 18-yard box. Take it off with your player and then press the left bumper and X button at the same time. That'll get you the chip shot. And this is what will get you with achievement. That is just the easiest way to do it. Bring the goalkeeper out. Tackle him with the what with whoever your player is. And then press left bumper and X again at the same time. And that'll go boink. Yay. Nice and sneezy, mate. So next up, we're going to be getting the sniper achievement for uh, scoring a free kick from 25 meters or more, 25 yards, whatever you want to call it. So roughly about sort of in between the halfway, you know, of the, the outer circle of the D, the D outer circle and the halfway line. What you're going to do next is at the same time, press the left bumper and right stick and that and move your goalkeeper out of the way. So keep left bumper and right stick on, move your keeper out of the way, get a bit of a uh, decent angle going there. Press the X button, and that should just jump straight in. Job done. Again, that is the easiest way we're going to be grabbing that. Moving the goalkeeper out of the way. Again, it's with the left bumper and the right stick at the same time. Then the left stick to move your keeper out of the way. Then just press the X button on your other controller, or get a bit of angle or whatever, and it's job done. Next up, what we're going to do is get an achievement called the wall. Now, what you were supposed, or what you are kind of supposed to do is... Shoot with controller 2, press the A button with controller 1, but the timing can be a bit finicky and a bit awkward. So the easiest way to do this is, as controller 2, um, just get a free kick towards uh, controller 1, so you, yourself, um, until the free kick is looking like this. With your one player, get him sort of lined up again, just close to the wall, get a bit of angle on, press the X button a little bit, and then... That is what will count as a block, and it is just way easier to do that. You're going to have to do that five times in a single match. I'm not sure if it actually counts against um, if you can hit it just a, uh, hit the free kick against the four-player wall, three or four-player wall. Uh, that's why I've done it with a single player. So again, quite close to the uh, the outer D circle right there. Make sure you get one player again, just up, 
just um, uh, just under the side of the wall, and then hopefully you get the angle right. Press the X button just a little bit, and then hopefully that'll be the one, uh, the only single player that it hits. Um, so again, I'm just going to show you the last time, because I'm super nice like that. Come on. Sometimes it can be so finicky, and you can literally crunch someone's leg, and it's just, it's just nothing. I think I get sent, uh, Bruno sent off here, so my bad, Bruno. Baby. My baby. So, after the last time then, you're going to be doing this. Uh, as you can see, for me, it was Marcus uh, Rashford, who is absolutely nowhere near. There he is. So, press the left bumper a couple of times if it doesn't seem to be working, which evidently it does not. Um, now, I do hit it straight at the wall. And, actually, yes, it does. It does work. So, you can just hit it straight at the wall, and it does work. Apologies. Um, so, with that one done, again, that's the easiest way I found of getting that one. And then, this one can take a little bit of time. Uh, we basically have to score a goal within three touches after a quick restart. So, uh, what you're going to do with the goalkeeper... Uh, there you go, just showing you how to do that wrong first. But what you need to do is pass it to the opponent's goalkeeper. And then... Oh, what a shot, mate. Well done, Diogo. Dallo. So, yeah, just pass it back to the goalkeeper. Then what you're going to do is bring one of your players and one of the opponent's... Uh, so with the goalkeeper, you need to be going out, um, and we're basically going to put it out for a throw-in. Make sure you've got one of your players close by. So I've got Sancho here. So quickly, press the A button to throw it to anyone, and then take one touch, press the X button to shoot, and then hopefully that should go in absolutely lovely. Again, that took quite a few, uh, a few tries to do, but if you come as far away from the goal as possible with the goalkeeper, uh, that should hopefully give you enough time. Um, in order to shoot, score, and job done. But again, that took uh, me a few attempts, so it may take a few attempts as well. There we go then, guys and gals. So that should now be 17 out of 17 eFootball achievements done. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game, which actually, for a free game, is, is you know, it was very enjoyable. Um, I hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. If it did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A big massive shout out to all my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members as well. So thank you so, so much. It means the absolute world to me. But I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love!